What's up guys, Boombox Studios here. So today, I am very excited to make this video. Today is all about a little uh, roamer game I created in Unity. And I'm really excited, I finally finished it. It's not big, it's not huge, it's just a little tiny thing, a little roamer game that I created. I, may, I will make more, because I really enjoy making it in Unity. But for now, a uh, link will be in the description to download it. Um, and I will show you guys how to download it and uh, a little let's play now. So let's open Google Chrome. So this is the screen you will see after you click the link in the description. You'll see Skytown Roamer Game by Leo V. Zip. It's a zip file. So then you're just gonna go and click download up in the top corner, just like any. It can't scan it for viruses. It can't scan anything for viruses. You click download anyway. It's pretty dumb that way. It barely scans anything for viruses. So then let's just close. Uh, nope, don't close Google Chrome. And it's just going to scan the megabytes. I think it's not that many megabytes. It's, uh, yeah, only 50. Uh, and it's downloaded now. So we close Google Chrome. We. I don't know if any of you guys know this. Windows key E opens up the file explorer. Best trick I ever learned. I'm, I love that. Um, anyway, let's go to my downloads. So here are my downloads, uh, and you can see, I was testing it, uh, you can see, uh, Skytown Roamer by Leo, by, game by Leo V, it's gonna have the one for me, because it's the second one I download for you, it'll just say, without the one, so then you want to, um, you go extract all, if you have 7-zip you can do it that way, but Windows comes with an extracting software, you can click extract all, and it'll show this thing, extract, and it'll extract it in your downloads folder. So then when it finishes extracting it, it'll open it for you if you check off that box, and we can close the other one, and we can pull up our thing, now it's extracted, this is the folder it's showing, and here are the files you need. So you can copy them if you want you can copy them make a new folder on your desktop and put them in there it's called game let's call it game uh, if you want to put them in there or if you just want to leave them in the downloads folder it'll be a little hard to find it but whatever and you close all that and you need all these files you need all of them or else the game won't work that's just how unity works I guess so then you open up your game folder or whatever folder it's in doesn't matter. Open it up, click skytown.exe. It says protected your PC. There's nothing wrong with it. Just click run anyway. Uh, actually, so you, so it doesn't pop up with that. Just, oh, it doesn't say unblock. I don't know why it says that. Is there any way to unblock it? I guess not. That's weird. It's fine. It's just because it was downloaded off the internet. Oh, and it doesn't say it after the second time. That's fine. It's just the first time it'll say that. It, it'll go away. So then you can run in whatever graphics you want, and or whatever screen resolution you want, whatever graphics you want, and what display you want. I only have one display, so it's on display one. You can also choose input. It'll show you the controls there. There you go. There's the controls. You can look through them. Uh, I don't know if fire was there. I don't have a fire option. You can choose windowed or not windowed. I'm gonna not choose windowed, uh, and then just click play. And it'll open up with my special little Unity beginning. I put a little tree in there. I don't know. It looked cute. And then you're in the game. So this is the game I created. <laughs> it's not much of a game. It's just a... Uh, I don't think platform is the word. I think um, just roamer is what I want to call it. Roamer. Just created it for funsies. It's not big. It's just to look around and whatever. So this is where you start. Start on this platform. And there's a little parkour to do the parkour nice grassy unity comes with shadows looks beautiful um in this game honestly looks amazing outstanding anyway you go up this little bridge and you're in this cute little house i just got a, a new pet bird you'll see more of that in a different video it's a green cheek conure so i put a cute little picture of a green cheek conure in a bowl because why not and a cockatoo because they're legendary <laughs> And then you got your little window here. Cannot jump out. It's a real window. Uh, just nice view of the sun, or no sun, or sky. Um, 
got a little vase on a blue countertop and a nice striped blue chair so that's up here then you can jump down uh, and of course if you want to go back up there you can go back up the stairs there all right got this nice little platform even though these aren't supported it doesn't make sense but whatever uh, and over here you got a little gaming PC set up uh, you got your nice looking like an Apple keyboard uh, that number pad doesn't make sense I'm looking at mine there's four rows but there's only three on that <laughs> you got your tiny tiny wireless mouse um, then you got your triple monitor set up and your nice uh, Dell and Spawn 755 down there. I'm just making that up. That's the ultimate Windows XP computer. It's the only number that came to my head. But no, it looks like a custom PC case. I don't know. I just downloaded it. Uh, you can jump over the fence if you want. You can jump through the fence if you want. It's not a real object. You can also jump through. Oh yeah, shift is run. You can also go through the the stuff. No, that doesn't happen up there in the platforms. It's just for this, for whatever reason. Anyway, there is an edge. It's because, basically, it started with nothing. There was nothing here. Literally nothing, just sky. So I just put down a really wide square and made it grass textured. Anyway, Unity is a great platform. I recommend it to people. Uh, it does take up a lot of disk space. I think, I haven't looked, but it looks like it takes up a lot of disk space. It downloads a lot of other stuff so it can actually work. Uh, um, but yeah, it is a great platform. This is my third day working on this. It's kind of hard to use, but once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. Um, all these textures, by the way, that, 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 not that, or that, 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 uh, not that, that's just plain. Uh, that, the grass, all of that besides the fence, computer setup, and chair and table and vase are all off the internet, including this. That's just pictures that you put in the folder that you downloaded from the internet, and you just drag and drop it to the little boxes, and it makes it colored. This is just straight green. Um, but yeah, it's a great program. I made a little game. You can download it, not on Mac yet. Also, if you're on Linux, um, I don't hate Linux, it's fine, but just download, if you're a Linux user, I'm not going to put down a special Linux file, I'll just download Wine so you can run a Windows program. I mean, if you're a Linux user, you're obviously fine with downloading Wine, one of the simplest programs you can download on Linux, but um, yeah, just go ahead and download Wine so you can run Windows programs on Linux. It just, I'm not going to bother get installing Linux that open. Uh, installing Unity, then put it, importing my project, then uh, choosing to install it on Linux. I'm not going to do that. Just download Wine, guys. If you're a Linux user, you use it because you're open source. You're an open source boy if you're if you use Linux. Anyway, for Mac, I'm working on it. I just need to get a Mac that I can use, and it'll be out in the next video. Hopefully, it'll be out. The download link will be in the description in the next video. Hopefully, I'm going to try my best to get it out in the next video. But for now, I only have it on Windows platform. But I will try my best to get it out next video. Um, with my upload schedule, you never know when next video will be. But I'll try to make it soon, I promise. I'll try to make it soon. Uh, and I'll try to make it soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, your car also, back to the game. Uh, your character doesn't have a shadow because he's legendary. He's a legendary vampire. Um, anyway, yes, as I said, I'll try to... Oh, that's the video. But I'll try to get it. Oh, yeah, to close it, you just click Windows key. Uh, there. Close window. If you're using Windows 8, just uh, do uh, Control, Delete, Task Manager. Then you'll get the bar. Then close it from there. Uh, but from there, I'll try to get it out on Mac as soon as I can. Download link for Windows is in the description of this video. Mac, hopefully in the next video. Linux, download Wine. <laughs> um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.